Welcome to the world of Webster, a television series that left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. Have you ever found yourself reflecting on a show that resonated with you, shaping your perspectives and memories? If so, Webster is likely to be part of that cherished collection. Now, let's delve into the fabric of this series. Webster, which aired in the 1980s, revolves around the endearing tale of a young African-American boy adopted by a wealthy white couple. The narrative unfolds with humor and heart, exploring themes of family, identity, and the nuances of growing up in an unconventional setting. As we embark on this journey through the lens of Webster, we invite you to share your personal stories. Can you recall a moment when the series touched your life, sparking inspiration or imparting valuable lessons? We're eager to hear your reflections in the comments below. Setting the stage for the main content, did you know that the show's creators infused elements of their real-life experiences into the storyline? This added authenticity resonated with audiences, making Webster a relatable and memorable viewing experience. Now, let's open the floor to your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to Webster. Your stories add depth to the collective appreciation for this iconic series. Share your anecdotes and let's celebrate the impact Webster has had on diverse lives. Your narratives await in the comments below. Let the tapestry of Webster stories unfold. Webster, the 1983 TV series, emerged as a heartwarming family sitcom that captured the hearts of viewers with its endearing narrative. The show revolves around the unexpected adoption of the titular character by wealthy couple George and Catherine Papadopoulos after his parents tragically pass away. This unconventional family dynamic forms the core of the series, blending humor and poignant moments. George, a former football player, and Catherine, a socialite, navigate the challenges of parenthood, bringing a unique blend of warmth and humor to the screen. The iconic character of Webster himself, portrayed by Emmanuel Lewis, charmed audiences with his precocious wit and infectious innocence. The series stood out with its focus on love, acceptance, and the bonds that tie unconventional families together. Webster's impact on popular culture lies in its ability to tackle serious topics with grace, from grief to identity, all while delivering laughter. The show not only entertained but also offered valuable lessons in empathy and understanding. Its enduring legacy is a testament to the timeless appeal of genuine family connections, making it a classic in the realm of television. The inception of the TV series Webster took an unexpected turn when the original plan to feature only George and Catherine, a newly married celebrity couple, shifted gears. Initially, the show was intended to portray the couple navigating the challenges of normal domestic life. However, the introduction of Emmanuel Lewis as the titular character prompted a significant change in direction. Lewis, signed to star in an undeveloped ABC series, led to the amalgamation of the two concepts. Paramount Television, foreseeing the potential of Webster, secured a unique arrangement. In the event of a BC cancelling the show before reaching 100 episodes, Paramount had the option to continue it in first-run syndication. True to the foresight, ABC dropped the series after exactly 100 episodes in 1987, and Paramount exercised its syndication option, a strategy they had successfully employed with other popular shows like Cheers and Family Ties. This strategic move not only ensured the longevity of the show, but also contributed to its lasting impact on television. Webster, with its unconventional origin and family-centric narrative, managed to resonate with audiences, becoming a classic example of navigating the complexities of parenthood. The series, born from a blend of disparate ideas, ultimately became a testament to the unpredictable nature of television success, transcending its initial concept and leaving a lasting mark on popular culture. Stu Silver's original vision for Webster differed significantly from what eventually unfolded on screen. Initially conceived as a modern take on Woman of the Year, the series underwent a drastic shift that reshaped its trajectory. The unexpected introduction of Emmanuel Lewis in an undeveloped ABC series redirected the narrative, leading to the amalgamation of two distinct concepts. Paramount Television foresaw the potential and secured a strategic arrangement, offering the series a lifeline in first-run syndication if ABC were to cancel it before hitting 100 episodes. This foresight proved accurate when ABC indeed dropped the show after exactly 100 episodes in 1987. Paramount exercised its syndication option, 
a tactic previously successful with shows like Cheers and Family Ties. This move not only ensured the show's longevity, but also contributed to its enduring impact. Webster, born from disparate ideas and guided by unforeseen circumstances, became a testament to the unpredictable nature of television success, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. The series, with its unconventional origin and family-centric narrative, stands as a classic example of navigating the complexities of parenthood. Gary Coleman's aging out of the youthfulness that defined different strokes led ABC to introduce Webster in 1983, starring Emmanuel Lewis as the new cute African-American kid adopted by a white family. This move aimed to replicate the success of its predecessor. The show's unique blend of humor and poignant family moments quickly resonated with audiences, cementing its place in television history. Interestingly, in the early stages, the show's direction took an unexpected turn. Originally envisioned as a modern take on Woman of the Year, the introduction of Lewis in an undeveloped ABC series prompted a significant shift. Paramount Television, recognizing the potential, secured a strategic arrangement that allowed the series to transition into first-run syndication after ABC's cancellation. This proved prescient when ABC dropped the show after precisely a hundred episodes in 1987. Notably, Webster was not just a hit on screen, it had behind-the-scenes connections to future comedy royalty. Jerry Seinfeld, now a household name, worked as a staff writer for a brief week on the show. However, none of his material made it to air, marking a footnote in the show's production history. The enduring legacy of Webster lies not only in its heartwarming family narrative, but also in its ability to adapt to unforeseen circumstances, making it a classic example of navigating the complexities of television success. It stands as a testament to the unpredictable nature of the industry, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Webster's journey from its inception to the small screen was marked by unexpected twists and turns. Originally conceived with an ensemble cast, the show underwent a significant shift when Emmanuel Lewis joined, quickly becoming its central focus. This change not only altered the dynamics of the series, but also stirred controversy, causing a major rift between Alex Caras, his wife Susan Clark, and ABC. Amidst the behind-the-scenes drama, the series faced the loss of Billy Sands, whose final role came to an end on August 27, 1984. This summer event added a layer of complexity to the production, emphasizing the challenges faced both on and off the screen. One notable aspect of Webster's narrative was the age span of its titular character, portrayed by Emmanuel Lewis. While the character aged from five to eight years old within the series, Lewis himself transitioned from ages 12 to 17 throughout its run. The finale, airing just one day after his 18th birthday, marked a poignant milestone in the show's evolution. In navigating these unexpected developments, Webster showcased resilience and adaptability. The series not only grappled with behind-the-scenes conflicts, but also managed to deliver a heartwarming family narrative that resonated with audiences, securing its place in television history. Webster's ability to navigate controversies, cope with loss, and adapt to the aging of its central character stands as a testament to the unpredictable nature of television production. It remains a classic example of how a show can evolve, overcome challenges, and leave an enduring mark on popular culture. As we unravel the nostalgic tapestry of the 1983 TV series, memories resurface like echoes from a bygone era, weaving tales of laughter, life lessons, and heartwarming moments. Webster, with its charming characters and delightful narratives, served as a beacon of joy in the sea of television history. As you reflect on your personal journey with this iconic show, allow the threads of yesteryear to transport you to a time when family sitcoms were just a form of entertainment, but a shared experience that resonated with the essence of our lives. Perhaps you found solace in the gentle humor, forged connections through relatable characters, or discovered profound life lessons cleverly tucked between the laughter. Now, it's your turn to share the chapters of your own Webster story. What anecdotes linger in the recesses of your memory? Were there characters whose quirks mirrored your own, or did the show's timeless messages leave an indelible mark on your heart? Whether it's a snippet of laughter shared with loved ones or a poignant moment that still tugs at your emotions, we invite you to pen down your thoughts and join the collective narrative of Webster enthusiasts. 
Our community thrives on the diversity of perspectives, and your unique experiences add color to the mosaic of nostalgia that defines Webster's legacy. Share your reflections, spark conversations, and celebrate the enduring magic that made this series a cherished part of our cultural tapestry. As we close this chapter of introspection, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for embarking on this journey through memory lane. Your time and reflections are treasures that enrich the collective tapestry of our shared nostalgia. Warm regards, your fellow Webster enthusiast.